Hello, this is Stefan Marek from Conductor, and this is a Conductor hands-on in which we will go ahead and set up Kafka Connect for our full stack cluster. We have already set up schema registry, but now let's set up Kafka Connect, and we will use HTTP colon slash slash localhost at the port 8083. We'll test the Kafka Connect connectivity, and everything seems to be working, so we will save this. But as you can see here, we can add multiple Kafka Connect clusters if we wanted to in this configuration box. Uh, so we can add as many as we want, and then we can delete them, so you have to be very careful, and you can even duplicate them. So let me just uh, re-enter this one, because I think I deleted it by mistake. So 803, and we're good to go. I'm going to save this, and now our Kafka Connect cluster is set up. So we are in Conductor again, and I'm going to go into Kafka Connect, and as we can see, one instance of Kafka Connect is detected, on which we want to create our Kafka Connect uh, task. So let's go into here just so I can show you what happens. So in the YAML file, there is a Kafka Connect block which is configured properly, so don't worry about that too much. But in here in the command, what I do is that I install two connectors, so the Debezium connector that we will not be using, but just to show you how it's done. And also, I'm installing the Kafka Connect data gen connector with zero, uh, version 0 0.4.0, just to show you that we're going to run this connector. So if you wanted to use any kind of connector with this Docker image, you could use this methodology. So now, if we look at the Kafka Connect uh, data gen source connector, we install it this way, so using the Confluent Hub, okay? And we want to look at how we can configure our information, our, our connector, right? So we go to the documentation in here, and this is under GitHub. And then I'm going to scroll down. And here it is. So as you can see, there are some specific parameters for this data gen. One is Kafka topic, the topic to write to. One is max interval, so how many um, interval between the messages. How many iterations, so minus one for unlimited. And then the schema we have to specify to uh, get started with the Kafka Connect data gen. Now, there's an even quicker way. If we just specify quick start, then we have a quick start we can use, and then we will be able to use some predefined Avro schema. So if I click on quick start here, I can see there's a bunch of quick starts already created for us, and the one we'll be using will be click stream, okay? So let's go ahead and play with it. So I'm going to go into uh, my Kafka Connect, and I'm going to create a Kafka connector. So these are the list of all the Kafka connectors available on this Kafka Connect uh, worker, and as you can see, there's a lot. But the one we are interested in right now is Kafka Connect Data Gen Data Gen Connector. So this one right here. As you can see, there's also some sync connectors, so source connectors, oops, excuse me, some source connectors here and some sync connectors here. And for all these connectors, by the way, we can click on help and this will take us directly into the website of Confluent if we detect the documentation. So let's go ahead and set up the Kafka Connect Data Gen, this one. So we need to give it a name, so uh, demo Kafka Connect data gen, and then how many tasks we want. So one task is great. Uh, the key and the value converter, we don't need it right now because we have the schema registry set up. And so this could be for override, but we will not set them, them, uh, set them up right now. For transforms as well, we will not set up any transforms. For error handling, we will not set up any error handling. Okay, so miscellaneous is where we have to set up uh, the settings that we saw from before. So remember, all the settings that were described here, the eight, seven, or eight, eight, seven settings in total are uh, here right now in the configuration of the cluster, which is great. So we need to first uh, set up a Kafka topic. So let's go ahead and create our Kafka topic beforehand. So I'm going to say this is Kafka connect data gen dot Avro with three partitions and the replication factor of one. So let's go back into Kafka connect. We're going to create this. And we're going to set up so directly in here, Kafka Connect Data Gen dot Avro. Uh, we're going to give us a max interval of 500 milliseconds, iterations of minus one to have unlimited data production. And then we need to set up either one of these settings. So we'll set up the quick start and we'll just use click stream. Okay, so everything looks good. And as you can see, the power of conductor here is that we have a big wizard to allow you to set up your connector with Kafka Connect. Um, if you were to use the command line, you would need to use a REST API call that could be quite complicated and difficult to debug. So we made this to make it as easy as possible. And by the way, if you hover over any 
topics, uh, any uh, configuration names, we're going to give you the documentation as well, which can be quite handy. So you don't need to jump around between this documentation and that we can just say, okay, quick start is the name of the quick start to use. And I just entered click stream. So click on next, click on next, review and create. So uh, connector name has not been done because I forgot about it. So Kafka uh, connect demo, click on next, 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 and create. So the Kafka connector is being created and it is currently running. So we have some monitoring available as part of this uh, little window. And so the status is currently running. So if I refresh this, as we can see, everything is running correctly. So how do we make sure though it is running correctly? Well, if we start our own consumer and then we pick a topic to consume. So Kafka connect datagen.avro and we just say start. This is going to show us the data being produced from Kafka Connect directly into this topic by the Kafka Connect connector. So really, the idea here is that everything is so easy and so smooth because, well, we don't have to write some code. You see, some data is being generated according to a schema for us. So I can stop this and I can have some details around this data field. So as we can see here, uh, we have some information. So this is the key. So this is the IP as the key. And then in here, we have the value. So we have the entire value. So the IP, the user ID, the remote user, time, request, status, bytes, and so on. So all of this is fake data that was generated by the Kafka Connect connector. So I think this is really, really, really handy, to be honest. And then we can get some information around the key schema and the value schema in here. Um, and obviously, if we went into the schema registry and refresh this, we can see that the Kafka Connect datagen.avro value uh, record has been created. And we could check if we wanted to the full Avro schema of what has been created, as well as all the fields being described right here. So all these things integrate quite nicely in Conductor, and this is something I really like. So if we go in here, we can see that we have one task, and this task is on the Connect Worker Kafka Connect 8083. It is in running states, and in case there was an error, it would show it here. The topics we produce to is this one, and we can look at the configuration. We can view the raw configuration if you needed it for some code, or you can view the JSON configuration as well if you needed it for some REST API. So we made everything compatible with how the CLIs work so that if you wanted to move from conductor to a CLI for Kafka Connect, you could do so effectively, okay? So it is possible for you to edit the configuration on the fly. Um, you can also edit directly from a JSON document if you wanted to for Kafka Connect. And in terms of actions, we can reset the source offset, restart the connector, or even pause the connector. So right now the connector is paused. And if I refresh, it's going to say it's paused, okay? And then I can just restart it, and it's going to start again and start producing some data. So I really like this because it is it makes it super easy to use uh, Kafka Connect with Conductor. And I really hope that you will have uh, some fun using Kafka Connect with Conductor and in general Kafka Connect. So I hope you like this lecture, and I will see you in the next lecture.